what's happening, everybody? This is the Club of the Man 1993 coming at you for another WWE turn alert. And tonight on SmackDown Live, we had another heel turn. A very surprise debut and a very surprise outcome to the WWE Championship Six Pack Challenge number one contenders match. The winner faces Randy Orton or Bray Wyatt, whoever wins at Payback. They'll face the, this person at Backlash. Going to this match, I believe the six participants were Luke Harper, Eric Rowan, Dolph Ziggler, Mojo Rawley, Sami Zayn, and Jinder Mahal. And the person who won was actually Jinder Mahal. It was the last person I expected to win. The, the last person I wanted to win because I'm just not really that big of a Jinder Mahal fan. And with him pretty much having no purpose since coming back, he's moved over to SmackDown Live. And then all of a sudden he's getting this big push. And now he's getting a WWE title shot next month at, at um, Backlash. But... Gender won with the help of two people who were in the Cruiserweight Classic, who I've heard of actually have been, have worked with Gender before, I believe. I'm not sure if it's like from other promotions or something, or something like that. But the Bollywood Boys tonight made their main roster debut, and um, with an distraction from Sami Zayn, helped Gender Mahal um, pin Sami to win the uh, number one contendership as a Huey face, either Randy Orton or Bray Wyatt at. Um, at WWE Backlash next month on May 21st, I believe it is. I'll make my printed match card for that within the next few days. Um, what do I think of this? Well, as I've said before plenty of times, I am not really that big of a Jinder Mahal fan right now. I just can't really get behind him. I'm a, I'm a little upset, I'll be honest, the fact that he got this title shot. I mean, I didn't really know who else would win it. I thought maybe either like Harper or Rowan would probably be the favorites to win it. Sami Zayn, I, I'm predicting him to go to a few with maybe Baron Corbin, give them something to do. Um, you know, Mojo Rawley, I didn't think was ready yet, but with Jinder Mahal winning, you know, it shows anything could happen. And um, Dolph Ziggler's going to a few with Shinsuke Nakamura. So, I think though adding the Bollywood boys in makes it a little more interesting, but again, it just, it just boggles my mind a little bit because there's guys who are like in the same position as Jinder Mahal who are either still on Raw or got moved on to Raw. I'm talking about Apollo Crews right there. I feel like guys like Apollo Crews, Curtis Axel, Bo Dallas, like, they were guys I would hope would either stay on SmackDown or go to SmackDown and get into a situation like this and get a title opportunity. Because they are guys I've been waiting to see for a long time get up there. I mean, Apollo Crews, he's had some gold championship opportunities before. Bo Dallas, we've got like one maybe for Intercontinental title. Curtis Axel, I don't think he's ever gotten a AEW championship shot. So, I mean, adding the Bollywood boys into this, a hit, if it, he's going to form a stable with um, Jinder Mahal, I'm willing to give it a chance because, as I said before, SmackDown Live, even though there's been a few feuds where the matches didn't produce, I do appreciate the storytelling they've done, and I think that they're at least putting some effort and trying to make this interesting and trying to make Jinder Mahal a little more credible of a character. Again, as I said, I'm still not really that big of a fan of Jinder Mahal, but I'm willing to give this a chance. And with the Bollywood Boys being added into the equation as well, I think we could possibly see something a little different and a little more interesting. So that's pretty much my thoughts on the um, the surprise debut and the heel turn of the Bollywood Boys. Um, Gerv and Harv, I believe, are their real-life names. I believe so. If I'm, if I'm mistaken, I'm sorry. But again, what do you think of this turn? What do you think of Ginger Mahal winning the number one contendership for the WWE Championship? Um, again, just leave your comments down below, and as always, please subscribe to this video, like this video for more content to come on this channel as well. Um, I just uploaded my thank you video for my reach of 500 subscribers. I'm going to be doing a Q&A either next week or the second week. If you want to, to participate in that, check out the video. Um, leave your comments down in the comment section. Again, just, you know, keep them appropriate. Like, just follow the guidelines that I ask for questions not to be asked that I will not answer in the video as well. Um, but yeah, that is it, guys. Thank you for tuning into this video, and stay tuned for more WWE Turn Alert.